you know, actually, I, I've got you, I, I got a shout out for you in this week's episode, because I saw on Facebook, you alerted me to the fact that the Ninth Circuit had vacated matter of ERAL. Um, which is the case about Colombian uh, social group landowners. Yeah. The Ninth Circuit just did it in one page. I mean, I, I can't even catch those things if they're not publishing it. So, so thank you for that. Um, I mean, you, you talk about what happened this year. Yeah. Obviously, the virus is the main thing that happened this year, which is crazy in an election year. But like, I'm flying to Boston in a week for a bond hearing, mm -hmm. which is crazy, right? Not to mention they've got like 10 feet of snow. But it, it's just, I don't know, I, I, I always try to remember the courts, the detained courts have not really stopped at all. Yeah. There's people just in detention facilities all over the country. You know, My I, guy's got no criminal conviction. Well, I'm surprised they're not allowing people to do telephonic for, for bond hearings. They are. And I could. But I don't know, right? If it was your brother, would you want an attorney there? Exactly. Yeah. I would. Um, and I, I, I understand that they might actually not even let me in the same courtroom as the judge. So I might fly to Boston to be in the courtroom next door. But yeah. I'm going to present witnesses and... I don't know, right? Not even seeing the judge, at least that way I can see the judge in a video. The guys, I don't know, if it was my brother, I would want the yeah. attorney there. And I know the family does too. You know, this is a major issue because I see in criminal courts a lot to it and in removal defense, people are, are frustrated the courts are being open.